Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my video. Today I'll be showing you where to find piercing, rogal quills, and rogal axe crest. Now Xenoblade 3 is still relatively new, so searching for monster locations, collectible locations, or where to find and get materials can be still difficult, if not impossible. Hopefully you'll find this information helpful or informative. I'll try to keep it spoiler free, but be warned there might be unintended spoilers, so be mindful and proceed on your own risk, or at your own risk. Feel free to leave a comment on what other Xenoblade 3 videos you would like to see as well. Also, if you know any other locations where you can find these particular mobs, please share in the comments below. Be sure to follow me for other Xenoblade 3 related content or check out my Let's Play, which is included in the description below. Now let's get started. Piercing Rogal Quills and Rogal Axe Crest are dropped by Rogals, and Rogals are these hawk-like birds here. They are birds with, I guess, a yellow or golden beak. It doesn't really matter, but the prefix of the name doesn't matter. Like, for example, this is Sky Rogal. Any type of Rogal you find in this game drops the same materials, albeit normal rare or legendary it doesn't matter as long as you can find a rogal they will drop the materials you need now rogals can be found as soon as you begin the game they are level seven so they might be too high for those who are just beginning but they are here in the a tier region as soon as you get to colony nine through the entrance just head southwest all the way down there past the lake here and they are found all in this area here the easiest way to go or find them is probably here and here because they're resting on the ground. The rest of the rogals are actually flying up in the sky and the easy way to get them down is to target them and click the up arrow and you'll throw a rock and that should be able to lure them in and then you just open up your weapon by pressing A and just use a skill like that. Now it doesn't matter where you, like I said, it doesn't matter where or what kind of rogal you kill, they will drop the same materials. This includes for unique monsters and elite monster rogals. They don't have to have the name rogal inside their their title. They can just be the same species and they'll drop the same materials. So if you know any rogals that are UMs and you kill them for their tombstone, you can teleport to the tombstone and grind them that way. If you killed all the materials or the mobs inside the area, you can either get yourself killed by jumping off a... A, a waterfall which you see one over here or you can have the rogue will kill you you can target it press up and it'll attack you and just stand still take it till your HP is depleted to zero and then the area will be reset all the mobs will return back to its base or you can just wait it out they will eventually come back but it's the most convenient and easiest route is probably just get yourself killed you can also go from one region to another for the mobs to respawn but that is entirely up to you now that is gonna be it for today's video Hopefully you found that informative. Please let me know what other Xenoblade 3 videos you would like to see. And follow me for more Xenoblade 3 content I do post daily. And I'll see you all in the next one.